Well, new at five, a Pickaway County teen says she was robbed and beaten over a pair of shoes. This happened back in April, and now her mother says it's taking just too long for justice to be served. NBC 4's Tyler Carter has that story. 16 year old Destiny tells me she met her friends here at the mailbox. What she thought was going to be a night of just playing video games turned into them robbing her of her Air Jordan gym shoes. Terrified that it might happen again. I don't want it to happen again. I don't want to run into them. 16 year old Destiny Tracewell says she lives in a constant state of fear. I never would have thought that they would have done that. Back in April, she says the teenage boys held her at gunpoint, forced their way into her home, and robbed her of her Air Jordan shoes. Two of them she thought were her friends coming over to play video games. They were coming for all of her shoes. Destiny collects Air Jordans, which are proudly displayed on her bedroom wall. The teen has several exclusive pair of gym shoes. The Royal Blue Air Jordan 12s are what she says the boys that robbed her got away with, along with the PlayStation 4 and other electronics. She says one of the teens pistol whipped her in the face, chipped her tooth, busted her lip, and then maced her. Her mother, Mary Tracewell, was at work during the time of the attack. She identified the boys, the two boys that night. So how I feel is they should have been taken in that something should have happened that night. The Pickaway County Sheriff's Office issued an arrest warrant for Cameron Rogers. He's wanted for aggravated robbery and kidnapping in connection to this case. The other two suspects were juveniles at the time. He threatened to shoot my feet, threatened to end my life. She hasn't healed yet because they haven't been caught yet. They have and justice hasn't been served. So that's, that's why I went to Facebook and put it out there for uh, other parents to watch out for their kids and who they trust. Mary says she just wants justice for her daughter and for these three teenagers to be off the street. Reporting in Orient, I'm Tyler Carter for NBC4.